welcome to the channel. So it is absolutely freezing in this house. And I mean freezing. It's not even, I mean, I've even had to put the, the weird gloves on with the old, yeah. So, oh my God, it is cold. I can't believe it is this cold. It's really weird. Um, so anyway, that waffling about the temperature. So we are starting another rewire. Um, so I'm on my own today. Um, so first day, it's my favorite day on a rewire. And the reason why it's my favorite day because it gets to rip out everything. The thing that's changed from this job, from when I first came to Prices Up a absolute lifetime ago, is all the plaster's off the wall. Look, someone's took all the plaster off. So that is an absolute winner. So, right, let's have a little walk around the house and show you what I've got to get up to today. So, setting up for rewires. What I've just done with the client, so we've gone round and I've spray painted on the wall. So we're gonna have two doubles down here and cat six, because that's where the telly's going. Socket gonna be on here. This wall behind you is gonna be like a feature wall. Um, so that's gonna stay as it is. And kitchen, so kitchen area. So this is the kitchen. In you come. So the kitchen is basically gonna be just completely and utterly cables whacked up into the ceiling, well, but dropped down into the ceiling, sorry. Um, so we're gonna put provisions in for double oven, hob, ring main, uh, lighting circuit in here, and a provisions for the garage, which is over there. Um, because at the minute, the clients are probably gonna be taking this wall out, because like I said, they've just, just got hold of the keys. Um, so that wall's gonna be coming out, so they don't wanna be doing too much. So it is literally like a time capsule, this house. So same in here, look, winner, 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 winner. So take that. So again in here, so it's gonna be like another lounge. So socket down there this time, was gonna be on the wall, but then it's changed the mind. Socket there, one behind you. So this is, oh, it's, right, I'm not gonna say it, like last time I'm gonna say it, it's cold. Right, okay, done. So the floor is a bit bit random. So obviously it's all being renovated, this house. But that's actually roots that have lifted all the floor up. So here is a big, you can't really tell on here, but there's a big old, old lump. So gas main is there. And I've just been told this morning that the water mains is all gonna be changed and relocated. So we've got to wait to find out what that is. Actually, I'm gonna look underneath there. What is that? So I'm hoping that is, a root or something, or unless it's a bomb. I hope it's not a bomb. Um, so, meter cupboard, so we're gonna have to do something with that, because obviously I'm not gonna get, um, there's not enough space basically for what I need in here. Um, so we're gonna fit the site board, temporary site board. I'll quickly run through that you in a minute. Upstairs, here we go. So they've had a new loft hatch put in, which is, that bad boy. So loft hatch is massive, so it's now lent the side, they're gonna put a wall light on this one. Bathroom in here is all gonna be renovated, so it's just a light going in there for the minute. Behind me is gonna be the office. So this is gonna be an office area, so desks and things are gonna be on there. Um, Cat six is gonna be run through most of it, um, for where there's TVs, so they do a lot of like most people now, they stream everything, don't they? Um, so in here, bedroom, socket either side of the bedrooms, um, either side of the bedrooms, either side of the bed. Uh, and then in here, TV is going on the wall there, uh, but like I say, no carpets, no nothing, winner. So let's go down to that site board. So this is the site board that we've rigged up. Um, so I do these quite often and I tend to forget where I've put them as well uh, sometimes. So it's nothing fancy. It's just a literal garage consumer unit with two metal clad sockets. Now, because of chatting to the clients today about everything and the boardings all needing to be done and all the rest of it. So what I've said is the site board will have to stay here because there's various different trades people that are having a new central heating system and all sorts of stuff going on. So I said, right, this is gonna have to stay here now until we're ready for second fix. So it's gonna be here for some time. Um, so this site board, and this is how I end up losing them because all of a sudden this might be on one job for six, nine months, who knows. 
Um, so and then I always need another one and you know and so on and so on. So that's what's gonna go on. So that's my first job now is to get this mounted, get everything killed in the house and uh, yeah, get, uh, get some floors lifted and get some stuff out. Okay, so sight boards on, uh, so we're all good, ready to go, so that's all mounted up, so that'll stay here for quite a while now because there's plumbers and all the rest of it, obviously, like I said before. Um, so we're all sorted, so we can take this board off now, get rid of that, that's all gone. Everywhere's got a nice, easy station just to come to, right, plug from here, extension lead off, blah, 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 and everyone can carry on like normal then. Um, I just find this is a much safer way of doing it, especially when nobody's living here, because I can literally now, the idea is for me now is just to blast around the house, cut all the old stuff out, get it gone, um, and then when the lads are here tomorrow with me, um, well, I won't be here. I've got, well, we'll be here very briefly, and then I've got to go off, but by the way. Um, but yeah, so that's the, that's the plan. So that's a bit of an annoying place where that is, so I wish that wasn't there, because it's really horrible, really, where that is. Um, but I imagine this will all be cupboard space. So what I'm gonna do for my cable runs is I'm gonna fix some, uh, like almost like banding strap uh, along here, and then I'll drop all my cables down. So we'll get into that room above and pull up the floor and find out where that main route is. But this, just to give you a context, the, the floor has probably come up, I don't know, half a foot, and that's a route. That's a, that's a route, that is, that's, uh, that's sorting that out. So. Let me show you. That, that's the route, yeah. So obviously someone's dug this hole up to find out what's going on with the floor. And yeah, that's from the big massive tree outside. So yeah, it's quite a big old thing, that, isn't it? I'm generally how I normally do it is pick a room, quickly blast in, but you can see from the old school. So you know when sometimes on the rewires where you tie on and pull, obviously there's an angle there on those, but that's not too bad. Some of them are really, really bad. Um, but yeah, so let's pop you down. So yeah, so in here, oh, I haven't really got that much to strip out. I've just got centre light, which is really random actually in the centre. The, the rest of them, they're all at the front. So there's that one there, there's a socket there. And that's it in there. And then, it won't take me long then, will it? Let's get on with it. Right, so I normally just cut it all off, chuck it all in the room in a corner. And then at the end of the day, I will actually pick it up. Believe it or not, it will happen. Trust, trust the process, all right? Right, so these are the polystyrene sort of tile things, right? So quite popular in, I believe, 70s, 70s style, but they used to put these polystyrene tiles all over the whole ceilings. Now, they were not only a uh, bit of a nightmare to get off at times, but they were, they're a huge fire risk, um, they were, so not, not great at all. Um, but that was then, and they loved it. I'm probably gonna set up the screw gun for getting these down. This is the first one of many. But yeah, I quite like doing the rewires in fairness, especially when they're like this. They can't get any better than this. 
You just don't get any better than an unoccupied rewire back to brick. I mean, come on. Next level. Right, that's it. So the rooms are stripped out downstairs. So we've ripped all the bits and bobs off. So the cabling's gone. So I've left this bit here because this whole panel has got to come off and I don't want to be responsible for all that. Um, so stripped that out, lights gone. Hallway, cables are all out. Cables are out on the light above. Um, so the light position is going to be moved from here further down more into the central sort of position. We've got smoke alarms to go in. We're yet to be confirmed on where the internet's gonna be coming into the house. But yeah, so basically just throw it all into a corner and at the end of the day, just, just get a rubble sack and just chuck it all in and it's all done. So onto the upstairs, I think. So that's the next plan, get it all on and uh, yeah, be a bit of a shorter one for me today. So we're stripping out upstairs. Uh, so one of the things that happens quite often is when you've got like the pendants and light switches, things like that. So when they've been painted on multiple, multiple times, it doesn't matter here because obviously they're all coming down, but sometimes if you're in an EICR or something like that and you just want to just undo it, just test it. So one of the things to do is you actually just give it a tap all the way around it'll actually crack the seal of the paint and you'll be able to get the fitting down. So that's a little top tip for you. That's a freebie. Enjoy it. Right, I thought I'd have some hard, hard evidence. Not all Sparkies are absolute pigs, all right? Some are, some aren't. I'm one of the ones that like to actually keep it fairly tidy. Not gonna say I'm not an OCD here, cause I'm not. All right, that's on record now. Carry on. Okay, it's come to that time of the job where I need to start lifting some floors up. So the consumer unit is gonna be mounted down that way. So what I tend to look for is where there's boards already been up. So that's pretty much most of these. Um, so I try and get like a spine run of the house as such, so it's gonna be raw all the way through, and then we can rod it all the way. So if you don't know how the joists are gonna run, just look for your nail. So my joists are running that way on here, so which means I'm gonna to have to drill all the way through. So my plan for today overall is to get some of these floors up, get some of the, um, the cables out, and hopefully, you never know, get some drilling done as well, but I'm not precious about that. Um, but it's, it's, it's a good start, it's a really good start. So let's get some of these, uh, these floors up, shall we? Denail it as you go in. And that's an always, all right? Don't be a shirker. 